Okay, guys, we have this nice exponential equation right here. We are going to solve it step by step. But before we start, I believe you know the deal already. Pause the video and give it a try first. And if you are done, let's get right into it. In fact, on the left-hand side of the equation, we have a fraction. But what I would like to do first is that I will keep the numerator side, which is 3 to the power x cubed, then divided by, this time, I will see this 9 right here as 3 to the second power, then all to the power x. And this is equal to, check this out, 81 is the same as 3 times 3, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 times 3. So this right here will give us 9. This will also give us 9. 9 times 9 is 81. So in place of 81, I can write this as we have 4 of the 3s. So we're going to have this to be 3 to the 4th power. Just like that. Cool. Now check this. We have a number to the second power, then to the power x. If this happens, we can actually multiply the powers. So we are going to have... 3 to the power x to the third power divided by 3 to the power 2x. And this is equal to 3 to the fourth power. As simple as that. Now check this. We can apply a power rule that a to the power c divided by a to the power d is the same as a to the power c minus d. And we can apply this power rule on the left-hand side of the equation. So we are going to have 3 to the power x cube then minus 2x and this is equal to 3 to the fourth power now check this out we have 3 here 3 here as basis if this happens we can actually equate their powers therefore the new equation is going to be x to the third power minus 2x is equal to 4 now we can clearly see that we have a cubic equation right here now to solve any cubic equation you need to first equate everything to zero so what i'll do is that i'll equate the cubic equation to zero yes like this now what else how do we solve this cubic equation what i'll do is that i'm gonna test i'm gonna assume that x is equal to one and if i do that we have one to the third power which is one minus two times one plus this one making minus one minus four so everything is giving us minus five which is never equal to zero again i'm gonna assume that x is equal to two let's see two to the third power is giving us eight minus two times two that is minus four minus four right here and this is giving us zero of course everything right here is equal to zero when x is two and this implies that x minus two is a factor of this cubic equation so what i would like to do is that i will divide the cubic equation by the factor over there so we have x minus 2 divided by the cubic equation which is x to the third power now we don't have x to the second power right here i'll bring that this way plus 0x to the second power of course it is doing nothing but it will help us then minus 2x minus 4 just like that now let's divide what times x right here will give us x cubed that is simple x to the second power x to the second power times x that is x cubed then x squared times minus 2 that is minus 2x squared cool then next thing is that we are going to subtract x cubed minus x cubed that is 0 then we have 0x squared minus minus 2x squared. That is positive 2x squared. Then what I'll do is that I'll bring this right here. Minus 2x, as simple as that. Now what times this x right here will give us 2x squared? That is positive 2x. 2x times x, that is 2x squared. Then 2x times negative 2, that is negative 4 x then again i will just subtract this way 2x squared minus 2x squared that is zero then minus 2x minus minus 4x that is 2x and again i'll bring this minus 4 right here what times x will give us 2x that is simple right that is plus 2 2 times x is 
2x then 2 times minus 2 that is minus 4 and again we will subtract 2x minus 2x that is 0 minus 4 minus minus 4 that is also 0 so everything right here is 0 now we have two factors right here one is this whole thing and then one is this right here so I'm gonna get rid of everything here and then form the new equation to the problem in fact we are going to have x minus 2 then times the other factor which is x squared plus 2x plus 2 and this is equal to 0 check this out product of two factors is equal to 0 in fact this means that x minus 2 which is the first factor is 0 and we are going to have x to be 2 as a solution or the second factor which is x squared plus 2x plus 2 is 0. Now before we start solving this quadratic equation, I would like us to discriminate first. Check this out. Let's use the discriminant formula which is delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now what is a, what is b, what is c? a is going to be the coefficient of x squared which is just 1. b is going to be this 2 right here. So let me put b on this and then this right here is going to be our C. Therefore, we are going to have delta to be equal to B, which is 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2. And if you simplify this, we are going to have 4 minus 8. And this is giving us minus 4. So now that we know that delta is less than 0 over here, means that this quadratic equation right here do not have real solutions. So our focus is now going to be on complex solutions. I'll get this one off really quick. And now we have the quadratic equation to be x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now let's use the quadratic formula. That is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is the same as delta, then divided by 2 a. Of course, we are going to have x is equal to minus b, which is 2, then plus or minus. Square root of delta is giving us negative 4 right here. So I'm going to put negative 4, then divided by 2 times 1, which is still 2. And we can simplify this further. We have x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Square root of negative 4 is just 2i then divided by 2, as simple as that. Now, of course, if we look at it carefully, we can see that we can just factor out 2. So I'm doing that quickly. We have 2 out, then the inside we are going to have minus 1, then plus or minus i, all divided by 2. And clearly we see that this will cancel out that, and we are going to have x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i as the other two solutions 